Who's back, lady? So it's Thursday morning. Look at the time. It's quarter past eight. It's far too early. <laughs> so my husband found us a new window cleaner and they rang him up last night and said, yeah, we'll be there at eight o'clock in the morning. Sorry, eight o'clock in the morning, clean windows. That's rather early. Anyway, so it's been raining all night and they've not turned up yet. So whether they will actually come because of the weather, it has stopped raining now, but it's everywhere soaking wet because it's been raining all night. Um, so whether they'll come or not, I don't know, but I've had to get up so early and get dressed because obviously I need to like talk to them and tell them what wants washing and stuff because they're new. Oh, it's going to be a long day. <laughs> gonna be a very long day so i've not had my breakfast yet i've been rushing around trying to tidy up a little bit because obviously when the cleaners see everything don't they and we live in a bungalow so you can see everything through our doors and windows and yeah it's a nightmare so anyway good morning right it's 25 to 9 still no sign of the window cleaner i cannot believe that i've dragged myself out of bed really really early for a window cleaner that hasn't turned up yet <laughs> do you know how frustrating that is Anyway, so breakfast this morning. I've got a wheat bits and some chopped banana and another cup of tea. Right, here you go. Fine job. So it's quarter to nine. Still no sign of the window cleaner. Um, so I thought we'll get the pots washed. I don't know why I've ended up with so many pots. I think I must have put the dishwasher on early last night and missed quite a few of the pots. So anyway, we'll get the washing up done. Um, and then I don't really know how long are you supposed to wait for window cleaner before you go out. I'm not sure. Aww. Even poor Winnie had to get up early. You had to get up early, didn't you? Hey, are you okay? Oh, even you look tired. <laughs> are you tired? Did they wake you up early? Oh, poor Nina. Make sure, yeah, let's go back to sleep. <laughs> Entertainment of the morning, the man. <laughs> they come to empty and take away your rubbish, bless them. So that's really good. My hub is absolutely fuming about this uh, window cleaner thing because he moved all his truck and everything so that they could get around the back to do the back of the house as well. So he's like grumbling. <laughs> so they've upset everybody this morning. Right, so next job while I'm still waiting, um, I'm just trying to plan my food shop for the week. Ooh, very difficult sometimes to think what to eat every day. Right, so I've done my online Tesco food shop. It's now just 10 o'clock. Uh, the window cleaner never turned up, so it's rather annoying, but I don't want to keep banging on about it. So it should have come at eight. It's now 10 o'clock. They didn't turn up. Never mind. Anyway, lipstick of the day. So lipstick of the day today is an Avon uh, Lisa Armstrong lipstick, which they're not doing anymore, but you can still get them at the moment for half price. They even have a magnetic lid. Absolutely brilliant. I've got the matching lip liner on as well. So the colour is Claire and Clary. And then over the top, I've got an Avon. I've got on um, the Mark plumpy lip gloss and the colour is pink pout so I've popped that over the top which then gives it this lovely shine it makes it really sparkly and nice and they make your lips tingle they feel absolutely wonderful it's not too much because some of these lip tinglers can be a bit too strong this is just like a gentle tingle and it does plump your lips for a little bit not loads but just slightly really like it and you can use it over the top of any lipstick you can use it on its own as well but i do like it over the top of other lipsticks i love it so much one of my favorite combinations anyway so it's now 10 o'clock i feel like i want to nip out so let's nip out oh before i go i realized i've not done my hair so I'm quickly doing my hair so calendar of the day friendship is the icing of the cake of life and i've just realized as well it's my brother's birthday today i did sort his card out and stuff last week but i've just realized it's actually today so happy birthday to my lovely older brother right let's get going so i've got my fluffy coat on that i had on yesterday some little boots with butterflies on same trousers yesterday a boot not burgundy like a maroony warm colored jumper and same bag as yesterday got my little shopping list let's go right so i just want to nip to like um a shop a bit like wilkinson's uh that sells sort of like bin liners and lots of house stuff i want to get an air fresher and some other bits and bobs so away we go we're not gonna be very long but let's go
Back in the car, it's so windy. When I walked down those steps, the wind was like ice, it about blew me over, it was so cold. So I've just nipped in our store, got a couple of bits from there that I wanted as well. So I think now we're gonna drive around to one charity shop. We'll go and have a quick rummage and then we'll go home for dinner. Let's go. Yeah, I come up because trees are going to come up. By the way. Thank you. 
Right, 12.40, so we need to go home. Hope you enjoyed that little rummage. It did back a couple of bits. Let's go home. Right, we've made it home. Just gonna drop the paper off for my neighbour. Right, so dinner, super fast dinner. Then we've got lots of little jobs to do. So dinner today, we've got mackerel in brine, uh, little seafood sticks and little tomatoes and a cup of coffee in my mug of the day. And now home, I actually can't believe that that window cleaner didn't turn up. <laughs> I know I keep going on about it, but when you've spoken to somebody just the night before and they said they'll be there at eight in the morning, it's so odd. Anyway, off to enjoy my dinner. So, I bought myself some flowers this morning. They were reduced, look, £1.50, these little white tulips. And then I've got some daffodils, they were a pound. You need daffodils this time of year. It makes you feel so much cheerful, so much more cheerful. Um, and then I got this air freshener thing. I thought it'd be nice to put in my haul, uh, which sprays every so often. I've no idea what, be, what it will be like, but hopefully it'll be nice. Right, what else did I buy? So, I bought this lovely jumper. I'm quite into polo necks at the minute. They really do keep you warm. Um, and this has got a really nice, soft, sort of fluffy neck. It's only like a Tesco one. Uh, it was like £3.59. I just thought it was really nice. When will it ever warm up? <laughs> then I bought a scarf. I seem to have a scarf obsession now. I need to have a word for myself that I don't need any more scarves. But um, this was just a long, plain black one. It was brand new with tags from Primark. It was £1.59. I'm not sure how much it would have been in Primark. Probably wouldn't have been that much. But it was quite a long one. And as I said yesterday, this long scarf thing is really like trendy. And I do like a bit of black sometimes. And I thought for £1.59... Even if you only wear it a couple of times, does it really matter? You've done a bit for your charity, so ta -da! And then I got this for my dog. I'm not sure if it's going to fit or not. It's a size small. I'm thinking it might fit Florence. I'm not sure if it will or not, but it was just so soft and fluffy. So it was £1.99, but I thought I'll give it a try. Um, you can adjust the Velcro a tiny bit. If it doesn't fit her, whether I can adapt it a little bit so that it will fit her. But I just thought it'd be so nice to walk in. It was just so soft. There's no way it'll fit Winnie. <laughs> um, and then I got this. It's only a plain notebook. But look at it. It's so sparkly. And the glitter doesn't come off. So I would imagine when it was new, it was probably quite expensive. It was £1.50. And I don't know what it is about like bendy, squiddy notebooks. But I love them. I really like it. And I kind of feel I want to just take it with me everywhere because it's just so sparkly. Oh, what is it with me and things that twinkle? Honestly, I'm sure I used to be a magpie. <laughs> right, okay, so what did I buy from the cleaning shop? I got some magic carpet loo stuff for my upstairs toilet. I got one of these to put in there, which I've had these before and they're really, really good. They smell really nice and it lasts ages. Um, I got some of these. So I've got a packet for each one of my family. They absolutely stink of fish. They're scampi fries. Does anybody else like these? Um, I've not had any for years and I really fancied some. Um, then we've got some bin liners, what I needed. Um, so I was kind of just seeing if it was cheaper than buying them, you know, from the supermarket all the time. I got this for cleaning my blinds, which they're quite stiff. And I thought it might be useful to poke along the edges of your blinds because they're quite fiddly to dust. So for £1.49, I thought we'd give it a chance. I got some dishwasher tablets because they can be really expensive as well. I got some little like food bag things, some more bin bags. Um, and then I got some Sif cream. So lovely Luby sent me a message yesterday saying you can get pink Sif. So I think you can only get it from Wilkinson's. I've looked in a couple of other places and can't find it. But I got this one. So this is spring bloom flavour. So Luby, I don't know if you've tried this one, but it looked really nice. It was only a pound, so I thought we'd give it a go. And I think 
that was it. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that little shopping trip. I'm now off to ring my little mum, bless her. Hmm. I'm not sure if she's very impressed. It looks really cute. So I've done it slightly looser. I can get my finger in and everything. So I don't think it feels tight. What do you think? Do you like it? I can't take you for a walk because I'm waiting for a parcel to come. My husband's got a parcel coming, so I've told him I'll stay and wait for it. We can't take you for a walk to test it out, can we? No. Do you think it's too small or is it all right? <laughs> she doesn't look very impressed, does she? Every time I put something on her, she just turns into a statue. <laughs> Do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> You don't look very impressed, my darling. What's it like? Are you not speaking to me? Baby, what do you think to it? Is it nice? It's very soft. <laughs> look at her. She just doesn't move. You come in. Yeah. Good girl. I do love you. <laughs> Ooh, the sky looks a bit angry. When I was driving home, it was actually trying to snow. <laughs> Look, you can sort of see how cold and blustery it is. Well, no snow yet, but it's gone seriously dark. So my little friends are both in their beds. It shows how cold it is. Ooh, we have a bit of snow, like snowy, weirdo, rainy stuff. <laughs> it's not very warm out there. And I've just realised I need to go to the post office. Ugh. Oh, I've put my flowers out. So my other bars were slightly a bit big, uh, a bit too tall for my little flowers. So I've popped them in a little flowery jug. Oh, so lovely. It's snowing. It's only snowing a tiny, tiny bit. And I'm thinking, should I nip to the post office now? So that if it gets worse, I don't have to go out, part of the fresh rubies. So I think I'm going to nip now. Then that's another job done. <sighs> right, I've arrived at the post office. I must be mad. I should have just waited at home. But I thought if I post it now, then it's done. Go home. Get a nice cup of coffee. It's so cold. So I've just got home and. The window cleaner is just outside my house. Hmm. Funny eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> right, so they're very busy washing my windows. They're only seven hours late. I'm not gonna say anything though, cause I'm not like that. But seven hours late, never mind. At least they've come. So kettle is on. It's a good job I came back from the post office when I did. So make myself a nice cup of coffee and try and keep out the way of the windows. So they've gone. But I'll tell you what, even though they're late, they've done a wonderful job. My windowsills are so spankly clean and my doorstep. Lovely. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Oh, and even the sun has come out. <laughs> Unbelievable. <sighs> right, nice cup of coffee. I actually tempted to have a biscuit with it. <laughs> I think it's the cold weather. I can't, me and my husband can't stop eating. It's terrible. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. My lovely mug of the day. Hmm. So I've set my device up, but I'm not sure if I've done it right. I've heard it make noise, but I can't smell anything. I'm wondering if I've not set it up right. Hmm. So I think it's working now and it actually smells quite nice. So every so often it like gives a little puffed out and my house smells really nice. And away we go again. Right, let's go and get little Ruby off the bus. Ah, right, we've made it. Look at the yellow house. Isn't that cheerful? We should all live in yellow houses. Imagine how cheerful the streets would be. We're home. We're home, my darlings. Have you swapped your bed again? <laughs> Bless her. She likes to do a bit of bed hopping, don't you? Look how her little head just like pops out of the bed. <laughs> ah, when he was shivering. <laughs> so I put a coat on. I think cold. We've put your little piglet coat on, haven't we? You can't sit on my knee, so I'm getting up. Let's have a look at you. Oh, you do look cute, like a little piggy. <laughs> but yeah, hold up, look. What do you think? You look cute, don't you? You need a hug to keep you warm. Hey. <laughs> oh, did you need a hug to make you feel better? It's horrible when you get cold like that, isn't it? I know. 
Oh dear, fancy you getting that cold. Is that better? You're feeling a bit warmer now? Yeah. <laughs> right, so if you remember last Saturday when I went to the paint shop, I saw somebody walking with an ostrich umbrella. So the joys of the internet, I hunted it down and it's come today. It says, thank you, you made a small business happy. So, let's have a look. Mm, are you ready? Ta-da! It's so pink. It is so pink, let's go outside and show you. But it's so eye-catching, it's just absolutely wonderful. So I got the umbrella, but they also do little coasters. I'm a sucker for a coaster. I like coasters a lot, and they're really cheerful. But look at these. Look at them, they're so good. <laughs> and they're shiny as well. Oh, they're so good, look. Don't they, Ruby? Yeah. They're cool, aren't they? They've got velvet backs and pink fronts. They're just absolutely adorable. Right, let's go and test this brolly. Right, are you ready? Three, two, one. Ta -da! <laughs> so her name is Emily Smith. So that's the inside. And obviously that's the outside. Look, it's so big and bright and cheerful. It's so good. I love it so much. I can't wait for it to rain now. It's got a beautiful wooden handle. It feels so well made. It's absolutely gorgeous. Hello, darling. Are you getting ready for your tea? Yeah, don't to come in. Come in for your tea. Yeah? It's cold out here, isn't it? And because it's so cold, all the animals are coming in. So even Bobble's coming. Bobble's a bit earlier tonight. Just shows how cold it is outside. It's freezing, isn't it? Yeah, little piggy. <laughs> <sighs> Got to love it when you drop an, a box of Oxo cubes. I thought I'd pick them all up and I turned around and my dog was eating one or attempting to eat one. And obviously she stopped because she realized it wasn't very nice. Florence, what have you been eating? An Oxo cube. Not good, is it? Was it horrible? <laughs> you are stupid. <laughs> so, slightly worrying. I feel like I'm surrounded by wallies. You cannot lean against that when you've got a jumper on. You're going to knock the heater over and probably set the house on fire. Winifred, I know it's cold, but you can't lean on the heater. I'm going to switch it off now. I bet your bum's boiling. Yeah, it is. You are naughty. You can't lean on heaters. Ooh, and finally, there's my tea. So for tea tonight, I've got lots of salad, a couple of boiled eggs, some chicken char grill, which is eight, no, seven points for two um, on Weight Watchers. And then I've wrapped, put them in a wrap with some low-fat cheese and melted it in the oven. So off to enjoy my lovely tea. Never get the feeling you're being watched. <laughs> I've no idea how she can be comfy. She's actually sat up, isn't she, Ruby? She's sat up with her head leaning forward. You are funny. You can't be comfy like that, you wally. I went PT. Get fed up for waiting. <laughs> Won't be long. Right, my dears. I'm going to love you and leave you. So we're going to watch The Apprentice tonight. Me and Ruby like to watch that. It's very enjoyable. So if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. Don't forget my little dogs. I've got an Instagram called Two Fluffles. Don't forget my website is down below if you'd like to treat yourself to a mug of the day and then get your photos featured in my little video. And don't forget my Avon shop is also down below if you'd like to treat yourself to a bit of Avon makeup. I've quite a few people asking me about my eyelashes lately. I do use Avon mascara. There's quite a few that I use, but the Avon 16 hour mascara is very, very good. They they don't come off. It's just absolutely brilliant. So anyway, my dears, I'll love you and leave you. I will see you tomorrow.